Hi, it's Apple Musk. I've been a morning person for about three and a half years now, since October 2019. I've been more influenced by Robin Sharma's The 5am Club for Change. I stumbled upon it in a bookstore, took the hindsight 20-20-20 principle out of it, and implemented it the next day, and it's been three and a half years. I actually have a copy of Hal Elrod's book, The Miracle Morning Millionaire. I bought it long before the 5am club, but unfortunately, I never became a morning person. When I think about it, maybe it wasn't desperation, but maybe it was just too complicated. In Miracle Morning, they suggest six morning habits called savers. We call them savers because each activity stands for something. The original activity suggests spending 5 to 10 minutes on each one, but if you're too busy to do that, they offer a compromise tip for busy people, one minute each for six minutes, which I personally don't know about you. It's a great book, and there are a lot of people out there who are actually putting it into practice, and I've seen it in my life, just one person, but for me, at least, it's a little overwhelming because I have so much to do in the morning. I always say, the fewer options you have, the easier it is to take action. For example, let's say I'm buying a new smartphone. If someone says, I can't decide between Samsung or Apple, and someone says, I can't decide between Samsung, Apple, Huawei, Xiaomi, Sony, LG, etc., who's going to make the purchase faster? It's a matter of degree, but yes, it's the former. It's a no-brainer. Humans tend to give up or procrastinate when we have too many options, because our brains get saturated. You've heard of indecision, right? It's why we go to a Chinese restaurant and think for a long time about whether to have Jompong or Jia Jiangyong. Naturally, I chose the 5am club, which has three options rather than six. There's actually a lot of good stuff in the 5am club, but hindsight is 20 slash 20 slash 20. You wake up at 5am and do 20 minutes of exercise, 20 minutes of meditation, and 20 minutes of self-improvement. It's simple, right? You just do it. I ended up buying a book to motivate myself afterward, but that's really all it takes. If you've made it this far and you're on the fence about either of these two books, just pick one and do it. The truth is, good habits are just that, good habits. What's good about being a morning person? If you're on the fence, try it for a week, and if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. The fact that you're even thinking about it shows that you have the desire to do it, so don't think about it, just do it. You read The Secret of Habit and you're like, oh, I'm going to do that, and then another couple months go by. Just do it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that for someone who's looking for a good secret, I've never met anyone who's really good at it. Rather than someone who is looking for a secret to study English, someone who memorizes even one more page of an English application or one more English word in that time will eventually be better at studying English. Of course, there are some people who say, isn't the efficiency different? So, after 20 years of searching for the secret to learning English, have you found the most efficient, best, and best way to learn? Every day, hundreds of successful cases and my own know-how are popping up. They all have one thing in common, they actually did it. I'll leave you with one final thought. Do you want to become a morning person? Just do it.